Today, we are talking to British touring car driver, Howard Fuller. Howard is back in the British Touring Car Championship after an absence of seven years. He's been welcomed back into the fold by Team Hard and will be driving a Passat CC when the season kicks off in August. Howard, welcome to Is It Fast? Thank you for joining us. Uh, so you're back. Seven years since uh, since my uh, you know my my last outing in the British Touring Car Championship, 2014. Well, absence only makes the heart grow stronger. You're in your third uh, iteration of touring car in the touring car series. How do you feel about the CC? And uh, how do you feel about the 2020 season when it does eventually join us? The, the championship is for me. That's always where I wanted to be. Um, you know, many drivers have said it before, and for me, it, it certainly is the same the same story. But you know, Formula One and things like that weren't really you know, not my my ambition. It's always been uh, in the British Touring Car Championship. It really it had in my heart. It has been, and it's not just being in the championship, but being champion is obviously the the, the goal. So I don't feel I won't feel like I've made it until hopefully one day that happens. But uh, it feels it feels great to be back, and it's and under the Team Hard banner as well. Like this this team. Is, is it feels like family to me. It's been they've been a big part of my career um, for for a number of years now. Um, you know, even before uh, the Touring Car Championship, I was racing with them in the Volkswagen Cup. And uh, yeah, I remember that that phone call back in 2013. I I just moved I just moved to Milton Keynes. Uh, funnily enough, with my my old teammate from Monoreno, and I got a call from from Tony. Said, look, there's a uh, there's a, there's a seat ready for you, so it's uh, it's been a it's been a roller coaster roller coaster process, but it feels great to be back and to actually do some proper seat time before before a season has been really really good, and it's all looking quite positive. For the first time, I believe uh, ever in Team Hard's history, you all got carted off to to Spain to do some warm weather testing, uh, which which looked glamorous, but it did give you some some time behind the wheel of the of the CC. So how do you feel about about your chances in the car, and how do you feel about the car? Uh, before we all head to to Donington in August, I actually drove uh, the car pre its updates uh, up in Donington um, uh, last year. Uh, so that that was a really good insight to, to how the see, to see where the car had moved because it had moved an awful lot up until that point until last year. Even though the, even though the car wasn't always competitive, um, but when when the when the temperatures went down and 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 the and, and the heavens opened, the car was really competitive as Jack showed last year at Silverstone. Um, that famous first win for the team. So, you know, we've always we've always had we've always had that drive and that passion to to, to win races, and we've got the ability to do it. So sometimes, you know, things just don't work out, and and you're up against you're up against some of the some of the really tough tough tougher odds. But to be back in the championship and to be driving this new car after its updates is, yeah, it's it is a bit surreal. It really is. And you know, me and Jack have known each other for a, for for a fair old time, and you know, obviously, I've been following Nick uh, since he entered the championship. Um, a number of years ago and you know our relationships as teammates is is uh, quite strong which is good um and uh, the the car and myself are uh, we're communicating well and uh, i'm looking forward to spending some more time there we should be some way through the season already how have you been how have you been handling lockdown what have you been doing to try and keep yourself sharp and have you wandered into the world of sim racing at all yeah, i mean it's uh, it's a question that get asked quite frequently and it's uh, it's brilliant to for and that people like people are asking me because it's you know I'm just at the end of the day it's, it's usually the same kind of thing that everybody else is doing to try and keep them keep themselves sane but essentially like my you know the, the world the world I live in kind of you know in terms of like work and, and and so on kind of tapered off in the end of February so I've been trying to keep myself busy but uh, yeah sim racing is a big big thing I mean I'm not the most uh, technically advanced person so I'm I'm, I'm I'm asking a few people myself you know you know what's you know what's the good will and uh, and monitor and all the rest of it to to get my hands on, but um, yeah, I, I find myself entered a, a few different um, online championships just via Xbox One, so which has been great. Team Hard actually um, had two championships running at the same time, uh, so there was actually an opportunity to win some cool prizes as well. So that's that's actually just finished, but they've got a Monday championship now, which is great fun. And uh, during that process, a number of uh, a number of other drivers who do uh, a few other of the championship just what uh, reached out to me and said look do you fancy having a little go in uh, a bit more of a professional series i suppose with some some real quick drivers and i find myself getting quite addicted to it <laughs> so uh, that's been really really good and 
it's a, it's, it's a nice way to stay sharp, but also trying to maintain um, a, a, a good level of fitness and uh, sort of, I guess, like men, mental, mental, uh, mental health as well in terms of, you know, we've still got a job to do, even though we've got some, some time away and things are tough at home, perhaps, and not be able to leave the house, but still, still being focused on, on, a, on, a, on a challenge ahead of us, hopefully when we get started in August. And this is the big thing. You know, it gives you the opportunity to stay sharp mentally, certainly, but before heading heading onto track. So, as you mentioned there, uh, hopefully the series will start uh, beginning of August uh, in Donington, albeit near enough three or four months after the the original curtain raiser was was due to take place, and due to conditions out, outside of our hands, obviously. How are you? How are you feeling ahead of ahead of Donington? You, you've had to reset yourself mentally, I, I imagine. But what what were your initial hopes and dreams of of that first that first race back, and and have they changed at all as we lead into into the new start? Well, to be honest with you, I've I'm uh, I'm quite a I'm quite a positive person. I'm always trying to find a way of you know a path of least resistance. But if anything, I see it I see it as almost a bit of a blessing in disguise because because I've had such an absence from the championship. And almost an absence from 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 real hard racing for 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 a good few years. I mean, I had an outing in TCR um, a few years ago, and that really was my first you know bit of battling for about three years since Volkswagen Cup. So it's been I've had some I've had some 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 gaps, and it, it, this now allows me to have I wouldn't say an equal playing field, but you know every, all the drivers now you know, haven't been able to drive their car or go racing in any, in any other category apart from sim racing. So I always, almost find myself kind of getting closer to a, to a, to an even match. And I've all, in my whole career, I've always had to react like to, to, you know, to opportunities. I was like, right, you really need to do well this time because this might may well be your last time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm rising to the challenge and I'm really excited. I think it's difficult to say like where things would be if we started where we were. I think, I think naturally we would have been more competitive. I, I hand on my heart, think we would have, I think as a team uh, with the, with the drivers that we, we have now, and even with Mike there as well, I think, I think, I think the chemistry works well. It's a bit more organic uh, in my, in my opinion, and the team are in a happier place. And I think this has given the team, with the amount of things that have moved forward, a bit more time just to just to settle in a little bit and not, you know, not not guess per se. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited and I think to have four races potentially on the bounce is is daunting. So you're going to have to have a little bit of management in regard to risks, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be exciting and I think it's really, really good and we need to do something to, to keep the fans happy. Yeah, I think it's very exciting that there's going to be such a large number of races together in, in, almost in, in one kind of shot. You know, we've, we're going from no racing at all to almost, you know, back to back tequila shots of, uh, of racing, which is going to be pretty exciting stuff. And, and yeah, I, I agree. I think team, team hard as a, as a feel. I've been lucky enough to, to be in and around what you guys have been doing for, for the early part of this year. And it feels very special, and and on the back of last year as well, I think it's going to be a quite a, a, an interesting place to be and, and a competitive place to be, which is great, especially when you've been you've been brought in and, and, and you're you're hungry for it. Clearly, you want to do well, which is uh, always a good start, I find, if you're going to if you're going to do something ever so slightly competitive like like what you did, uh, which is great. Earlier on, we we uh, we jumped onto the onto Tinternet and asked asked fans of Team Hard. Uh, if they had any questions for you, uh, and, oh, yeah. and and we did get a couple. Uh, s some of them involve uh, things that we can't help with. Uh, that uh, if we ever did a, a, an episode of Visit Fast after nine pm, we might be able to to share. Uh, kind of a Hollyoaks after dark. If anybody remembers that, uh, not that I do clearly. But uh, we we had a question in from uh, someone on Facebook. Uh, Kay, uh, how's the gym work going from home? Uh, during lockdown, how are you staying physically fit? For those of you who haven't seen Howard in the flesh, pretty big, pretty buff. <laughs> I think you're, pretty, you're a pretty toned dude. Uh, but what have you been doing at home to to stay physically in shape? So, I mean, this is going to sound terrible. I'm, I'm really, it's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not going to sound so great. But so, I, it, when I started racing, uh, like real 
real, real, real quick stuff, sort of, you know, 14, 15 years old in like T cars and so on. I've always been a really slim, like really, really slim guy. And it was only really when I started like in Formula Palmer Audi when I was 15, they're like, you know, after one lap, you know, I was dead, honestly, my shoulders, my neck. And it was, it, it, it was awful. And I thought I'm never, ever going to let my fitness get in the way of, of my performance ever again. So um, yeah, over the years, I've just been able to sort of tailor like a diet and, and a fitness regime that fits fits for me. But I think once you get once you, I mean, once you you know get a little bit older, and I'm only I'm only 27, but I can start to feel when people say, "Oh, when you get a bit older, you start to you know notice this, notice that." I mean, I, <laughs> I guess I am in some ways making noises when I sit up and sit down and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so what, to, to to keeping myself fit, I've always even even though I haven't been racing, I've always maintained a, like a strong level of fitness. I try and do as much cardio as, as I can get away with, <laughs> if, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, so mainly sort of, you know, swimming and cycling, obviously we can't do swimming at the moment. So I find myself um, out on the bike. Um, I don't really track it too much. I just go, because for me, that's just a nice way of, of enjoying it without it being, uh, without being too much of a, of a chore per se. But yeah, I keep I try and just keep myself busy in some respects, and you know, try not to lay in too much. I know it sounds crazy, but I try and make sure that I'm, you know, in bed at a sensible time, and you know, not sleeping until sort of midday. I try and get myself up early. But the main thing is diet. I'm really looking after my diet, um. So I'm eating really, really well, which is good. Um. But yeah, essentially, just keeping myself uh, keeping myself busy and keeping my mind busy, but also just making sure my my main maintain a good diet and also like dehydration is a big thing. So it usually it takes a few weeks to recover from like from dehydration, and the weather's been really hot. Um. So yeah, I've been just making sure that I'm I'm I am ready to go, and I've always I've maintained this throughout my sort of big back, uh, big gap from motor racing so when i do get these these chances to to jump in a car which i actually would like for instance from tcr you know that i was i was ready to go straight away like there was nothing was going to hold me back fitness wise um so yeah a little bit of cycling if i can and uh, some home workout stuff i've got some bands and some bars and uh so yeah just loads and loads of push-ups pull-ups squats yeah. bench press sofa everything <laughs> yeah. stay stay supple is is all i will recommend when you get to your 30s uh if you trust me the the aches and pains do get progressively worse so uh <laughs> you're, you're doing the right thing uh, we also got a question uh in, in regards to what you do away from from racing so uh someone's obviously uh, quite a kino and has, and has followed your career quite quite the thing which is great um and you, you do a bit of work with uh, other car car marks, essentially car brands. Uh, and and the the question was uh, of all, of all the cars uh, of all the car brands that that you you enjoy being an ambassador for, do you have a favourite? And it's quite a list uh, for people that don't know. Uh, you've listed Jaguar, Rolls Royce, Citroen, Infiniti, BMW, and Ferrari uh, as as some of the brands that you've. Uh, been uh, been associated with but did you have a favorite yeah oh, it's it's tough to say because um there's i think there's a there's a with with cars these days there's there's a car for every everyone and there's a car for every purpose so it's difficult to to pinpoint but stuff that i've always been uh i've always been a rolls royce fan uh they're just the cars are just you know there's there's better there's better built cars and and so on but in terms of the way that i uh, like a car communicates with you it's just they're just absolutely beautiful and uh, but also like even things like in the mainstream market if you look at you know like the PSA group or you know or whatever like just the build quality of stuff is just unbelievable I mean really unbelievable and also you'd be surprised on how much car part sharing that there actually is <laughs> <laughs> so you buy one brand it's actually something else with a few other mixed bits and pieces but uh yeah I've always been a Rolls fan Good show. I've never, I couldn't afford one though <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the correct answer is Alfa Romeo, anyway. So you were wrong, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. The amount of car part sharing. I, we we tested an Alpine uh, A110, and nice, uh, and it was beautiful. If ever so, Renault Megane when you got in. Uh, so, yeah, uh, no, mm. it's, it's it's always a always a surprise. Yeah, but you say Alpha. I've actually been. I mean, and uh, I I bonded over uh, uh, to uh, to the to the chap who, who looks after us at Swindon over over Alphas because I've been I've been looking at a, a one five nine for quite a while now, 
and a, a really fancy one. <laughs> a really, and they're quite cheap at the moment. I mean, they're always going to be quite cheap. Uh. <laughs> Howard, thank you very, very much for joining us on Is It Fast? And of course, best of luck for the 2020 season when it does eventually start in August, hopefully. Thank you. No, thank you very much for having me. And uh, yeah, see you all soon. Thanks again to Howard for joining us here on Is It Fast? And of course, we wish him and the entire team at Team Hard all the very best before the season starts in August. Follow Is It Fast on your social media platform of choice to keep up with all the latest car and motorsport news as well as interviews, car reviews, and much more throughout the rest of the year.